Hi there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're going to be talking about favicons. If you're not sure what a favicon is, it is a little icon that shows up when you have a tab or when you have a bookmark on your site. It's a little images that show up next to the bookmarks and next to the tabs. So it is really important for branding on your website. If you have a logo for your business, I highly recommend you put that as your favicon because it'll help people easily recognize going to your site over your competitors. So in Website Builder, we try to make it as easy as possible to add one, but the first step does have to be done outside of our builder, and that's to generate the favicon image. It has to be certain dimensions. For Website Builder, we recommend at least 70 by 70. So if you go into Google and you actually search favicon generator, you're gonna find a ton of options. So you can use any of those. We don't have one that we would recommend specifically, but just find one that will allow you to get at least 70 by 70 and will allow you to download an image once it's done. Once you have that image, come into Website Builder, click on Manage on this left panel, and then click Favicon. It's gonna have Add Favicon, so upload the image that you just created with the generator, and then publish your site. So that way when you go to your website, in the tab, you're gonna see this icon appear. So again, it's just a much more professional looking way to have your site set up, because if you don't have a favicon, it's just gonna have a little page here that doesn't really look like anything specific to your site. So people might not trust it as much or might go to other competitors that do have a favicon. And so it seems more professional and maybe they feel more trusted with them. So I recommend taking the time to do that. It's a pretty quick process and makes a huge impact on your site. 